We're here once again with the Portrait family. Anya doing her, uh, well, I would say best, but did you see that, Griffin? If arts and crafts aren't your thing, well, just thank your lucky stars that we've already passed the last episode. It is amusing how it can be so sincere that she is actually trying to help in her own ways. Making a friend, if to save the nation at least, is much difficult, much more difficult than first seems. But just how elegant is Anya going to be through all of her lessons? Are we going to get anywhere close to even resembling a step forward in the plan? I'm going with no. Ah, oh, damn. We're going straight into exams. With a star as one of the rewards. Why would Anya be worried about tests? Just, has she actually been studying or... Is this a case of, um... Ah! That's the... 91. She has been foiled at every turn. Damn that poor brain of hers. She's just enjo- She's enjoying this lesson, supplementary lesson, so much. Here's a big moon. Uh, she's asking about, yeah, the moon cycles. Is it an issue with the moon during the exam? Well, can she only use her... She can only use her powers at certain times. Hmm. She can be a normal child for a bit. Which means... You're screwed. Her, her options are very limited. Stu there's studying or there's... Immediately forgotten her... Her goal of uh, trying to get actual scores for the for the test. It will come compounding onto her later. And how is she? How is she going to fare with them attempting to teach her to help her study? As long as she doesn't get kicked out of the school, there's at least... Does he have a way of... Maybe you can try cutting it out. Focus on something else that doesn't have quite as many thoughts going through her head. I mean... I wasn't referring to anyone in particular. Remember the last time that he came around? How... Was that 15 seconds? How dare you be at home?
And how much of the internal... He has... Yeah, I was about to, she is fed well with those in internal monologues that he was having. Do you really want to take the risk of having a break? And yet they let Twilight slip through their grasp so easily. <laughs> at least, at least Daniel's having fun. If she could find a way to make the, her exciting life there. Also attempt to, to help her with this, her studies and lessons. Boil it down into something that she would remember. Don't be face gremlin. Maybe if, but now, how did she get those answers? It would be inconceivable, yeah, there's foul play at hand. I like his teaching style. <laughs> You're a moron! Why can't you get this? It's simple. I mean, if his sister is asking so nicely... Lacking, to say the least. Scooter. I mean, sure, go for the same angle that <laughs> that he is, just trying to fawn over uh, over your. The good use of her abilities there, seeing what people's in a Forza are always about. Well, I guess they will both work hard now. Actually, some decent advice there. Rather than just saying, ah, oh, you got it wrong. Explain the process of where they got it wrong, what their assumptions were which led them to that, that answer. Oh no. Inc yep. She really hates it. <laughs> the fact that he's going down story lane to what? Show her that she can power through and do something as well. Think about the future. What does she potentially want to do? And try extra hard in that th those aspects. Basically, it just boils down to whatever would benefit the sister. Hmm. Knowledge is power. I mean, and that ancient man. <laughs> I I get the the joke there, Chihuahua, but why? I mean, if she really tries to tries hard, although he'd have to stop her at that point, right? Of course, you've. Got to make sure you actually pass these exams. Probably shouldn't have brought him round to help us study if that was 
That was the worry. Have you mastered this, Gramp? <laughs> More than understandable. <clears throat> he needs to work hard if he's... He, he's good at all of these things himself, but not being able to pass on those knowledge, that knowledge. But is he really going to leave when she tried so hard with whatever that's meant to be? Charcoal on a dish. In the hallway! I'd leave that be if I were you. <clears throat> yeah, see, Anya's the smart one. <laughs> okay, reading the clock? Sure, that's one thing. Disarming a bomb. That might be a bit above the remit of a, a six-year-old. <clears throat> the poor dog. Please say that the exam. <laughs> we may be doomed. She's feeling awfully confident. Unfortunately, it might be misplaced. Let's bring it. No. I really hope the moon cycle uh, leaves quickly. She needs all the help she can get here. They are rather unsavory. So they know that they're pushing the limits there. The The questions were quite difficult and above what they were needed to be. With some that are already struggling. Oh god. Are you sure? How unchangeable are these results, really? Half of uh, the <laughs> the way to being expelled. <laughs> the internal force of uh, the family that they have, not the best. They're high. I mean, he doesn't hold her in too high a regard. Hmm. How is he just going to be able to waltz through? Not only does he have to change the results, but he has to get out as well without being spotted or even have anyone too suspicious. I mean, he is... As nothing says that is completely inconspicuous. Is he cosplaying as a spy? A certain student's answer. I, I see. He has set his sights high. Twilight and daybreak. <laughs> Spy! <laughs> uh, just keep rolling. No one can touch him if he just keeps rolling. But at least if he takes the heat from 
from the guards and everyone watching. Good thing they're they were busy and didn't pay attention to him. That is some good core strength, though. Hmm. The the power of an imbecile. Never underestimate it. I mean, if this super spy can't even open a door. He's helping it look not so bad. I mean, a spy usually would like to try and leave no traces that they were there. Didn't think that spies on opposite sides of the array would... Would be covering for, for, for each other. <sighs> he will be paying for that one. Uh... Yes, he's just been transferred over. He should know the the rules by now. Oh. Has he got something to Wow. Come to the rescue there, just... You... Just play along, you... <sighs> this... <laughs> no one could be this bad. So, who were the students that it was there to change? Why? Ah. I mean, he he does like she got. Has the ink ran slightly while he was? Uh, Good thing that Twilight at least had the right code. I... I suppose, yeah, rather than get let it get the wrong code for a third time in a row. Make your way in through f violence. Maybe you shouldn't be talking out loud like this as well if you're on a super secret mission. Is, did he really just erase it out, write some different answers? No pre-prepared test sheets or anything. How does he know what the answers were? Does he have him written down his calf or something? I mean, you would hope not. It's a thankless job. How... How, uh... How dare he sully the name of what a spy is? Ah, he doesn't have to worry about his, his skin there. Not only is he going to tell him, tell the world about Agent uh, Daybreak, but exactly what he looks like as well, so 
secret service secret police can get to him easily now that is a way to exit a conversation I might take that take that in mind did he actually lower them hmm so is he about to revert the changes that have been been put here? So not only is he having to worry about Anya, but now he's f fixing. Wow. Is it... Is it better than he uh, anticipated? I don't believe we had a leaderboard like this at school when we were after exams and whatnot. Mainly because 11th, not bad. People would be far too uh, upset if they didn't do too well and it was broadcast to the entire school. Congratulations. Is Anya still looking for her name? Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Two hundred and thirteenth. I mean, what is it out of? <laughs> I mean, it's so poor that he's so... Uh, the idea itself of her scoring that is the insult. She has some intense mental strength. <laughs> she... It really is. The fact that she managed to get away from... Away from the... Uh, Tantrus of bolts and being expelled, but still. At least in his mind, he's somewhat thankful. Knowledge plus five. So who is that voice? Over before it even began. That's a legendary spy for you. You know, he, he did manage to go through, get in, change the grades. He didn't do a very good follow-up job to make sure no one altered with his work after. I... Like the idea that even though he had to sneak into the school and make sure, Lloyd, upon seeing the results, like, okay, uh, there's not a failing grade amongst them. They're not brilliant. There's no need to alter it to make his daughter seem even better than she is in the school. Just leave it as is. If he starts putting them as good grades, there'll be some questions being raised. And while I am certain I have mentioned it before, I think I studied for a total of about an hour throughout all of my schooling. I was one of the annoying annoying students that 
didn't have to try when it came to studying. Didn't get amazing grades, but fairly good. I think more than you could uh, be proud of for not putting the work in. Hey, everything seems to have played out all right. Some A's, scattering of B's and whatnot, and then now I'm watching anime on the internet. Or maybe that is a good... good reason to actually try hard in school, so you don't turn out like this. Mm. I do wonder, though, A, why didn't Anya read minds and try and score well in the tests in the first place, before she got the supplementary lessons? And B, how often is the moon cycles going to actually affect the storyline? It seems a little late to introduce it to us now. Almost like it was shoehorned in for some reason. And despite how utterly ridiculous he was, I do hope it's not the last we'll see of Agent Daybreak. Although maybe if he actually becomes a good spy, it will be the last time we actually see him. But since we now would know we need to keep our eyes peeled because there's devious ploys and plans out there to bring down the Desmond family. There were those trying to alter grades, get them failing marks, bring up those tonsuous bolts, hopefully get them expelled at some point as well. Who are these third parties getting involved? And is Lloyd going to have to not only look after his own daughter and her well-being in the school, but also do damage control? for the family he's trying to infiltrate. And it was nice to see Yuri again, even if he's a very one-track character. It did seem as though his teaching somewhat helped, even if she didn't understand what even grammar was by the end of it. Maybe there are a few topics which he would actually be somewhat decent at imparting all the knowledge onto. Managing to eat toxic substances, for instance. And that being said, if, if your father is Agent Twilight, what kind of techniques does he have that he'd be able to impart on Anya to help with her study? If not, then memorization. If not, then just getting cheat sheets and whatnot into the test. So well, that'd be a fairly simple task for him. Not the best, like, most, like, overboard, honourable way of doing it, but I don't think he's really worried about that right now. I just hope by the end of this, the dog will come out alive. He really needs to learn not to eat things off the floor, even less so if they've been prepared by, uh, by your... But it is... A little disheartening to see that all of her cooking lessons and whatnot really went up in smoke. Doesn't seem to have worked out, at least not for baking. Maybe she needs to go back to the woman and uh, get a few more, a few more lessons in. And well, from the episode we can learn a few things. The first is to actually put in some effort, especially if you're about to fail mainly because supplementary lessons are indeed a little boring. And B, just make sure that your, your your parents or guardians are an international high rank spy, easily capable of changing your grades, so you don't actually have to suffer. That would really help. Yeah, I think I need to start getting into some, into some training, so Agent Midnight signing off. I am very lucky that I don't have any more tests to do, but even more so that I have my patrons here who are willing to sneak in and change any results because I wouldn't do well anymore. And so, if you would like to be a top undercover agent, consider joining onto my Patreon as well. And alongside the likes of Noku, Raywin, Sal, Shiwan, Guado, Tori Jane, Croyville, Kite, Light Wizard 91, Mega42, Diego Zenhausen, Maxwell, Cardboard, and everyone else. 
I may be able to complete at least one mission.